Now, in this series, I've been going over bits of Leibniz monadology, and I think I'm going to try to make this the last one, and I'll try harder to make it brief, like I tried to make the last one brief, but I failed. The last one went to about five minutes. Here's section 78 of monadology. He's drawing towards the close of the book. These principles have given me a way of naturally explaining the union, or rather the conformity of the soul and the organic body. The soul follows its own laws, and the body also follows its own. And they agree in virtue of the pre-established harmony between all substances, since they are all representations of a single universe. This is Leibniz's solution to the mind-body problem. There is a union of sorts between soul and body. But technically, they don't actually connect. In a sense, there's not a union. Soul doesn't connect to body. Soul is not influenced by the body. Uh, we saw some videos earlier. We saw quite some way back. We saw a long time ago, much earlier in the monadology. In fact, uh, in section 7 of the monadology, we see that the monads are windowless. There's no way for them to look out on or be influenced by or influence in turn each other, or anything else. Uh, there is such a thing as matter in the universe, and the monads, these mental substances, don't actually interact with matter. But there's a harmony among them. You could call it a union. There is a union of soul and body, but it's not a union where soul influences body or vice versa. It's not like Descartes conceived of soul and body. It's not like hylomorphism in pre-modern metaphysics in Thomas Aquinas, for example. No, no, the union of soul and body is just a pre-established harmony. What happens in the monad, and what happens to the body, always correspond perfectly. Not because one influences the other, but because God has so arranged that it will happen thus. This is Leibniz's uh, solution to the mind-body problem. Thanks for watching. I think I'm, I think I'm done with the monadology, at least for now.